okay guys so this is where we left in the previous lecture in this lecture we'll be setting up the shipping setting in our website so for that click on the shipping tab okay once you do so now we have to add a shipping zone so just click on this add shipping zone button as i said you i'll be uh, dealing only in india so i'll put a shipping name it could be any name i'm putting india now we have to select the region as i said i'm uh, shipping only in india so i'll select india if you're selling only in one particular state then what you have to do is just select that particular state maharashtra now i will be shipping only in maharashtra but as i said i'm shipping in, uh, in whole india then i am selecting india fine now after you do so click on save changes so this was the zone now we have to add a shipping method means what kind of uh, shipping method we want a uh, free delivery flat rate what should be the rate for shipping that thing so for that we have to add a shipping method so click on add shipping method now select flat rate from here and again click on add shipping method fine so now flat rate has been added over here now we have to edit this flat rate okay it says whether it is taxable or not we say yeah it is taxable what should be the cost so we are selecting two dollars for the cost and click on save changes fine but many times it happens that uh, you know you cannot have the same shipping cost for all the products for example if you have a bulky product suppose you're selling uh, you're dealing in electronics then the shipping cost for a cell phone a mobile phone will be different and the shipping cost for a television will surely be different and for you know refrigerator and these kind of bulky products it will be different so what you do how can you manage that so there is an option for that let me show you how you do that for that click on shipping options from here and here you have some options first one is enable the shipping calculator on the cart page so let's come back to the demo website and as you can see this is the shipping calculator uh, uh, when you click on calculate shipping you put in your country state your pin code click on update totals and all the settings all the charges are shown over here so this is a calculator so we want to enable this because this is a really cool feature now here there's another option hide shipping cost until an address is entered you can also enable this one now shipping destination default to customer shipping address or billing address you can select anything from your i personally prefer the shipping address okay now click on save changes now click on shipping classes from the top now here we have to add a shipping class so here you will see an a button which says add shipping class so click on that now we have to uh, name the shipping class as i said i'll be showing you how to manage different kind of products so let's say we are managing bulky products over here so we'll name bulky in slug you can leave this blank or you can put the same thing and in description uh, you will say uh, products uh, over 50 kg for example just for the sake of illustration in description we'll say product over 50 kg so uh, whichever product is over 50 kg will be uh, will be charging different shipping cost for those kind of products okay so once you do the uh, do these settings just click on save shipping classes it says product count is zero because we haven't uh, created any product right now but let me show you how it looks like uh, uh, you know in different in the demo website this is the dashboard for the demo website let's go to the woocommerce setting and uh, settings the shipping option shipping class and here as you can see here also we have created a bulky 
and here it is product over 10 kgs and product count it shows four product so let's click on this four product so on this four products the shipping cost will be charged ten dollars instead of two dollars so this is how the shipping cost works now let's come back to our website and again come back to the shipping zones Now again, uh, click on edit under India and under flat red also you'll get an option called edit. So click on that. Now as you can see the options are more. We have the bulky shipping class cost also. Now here we can uh, set the ratings, uh, the rate for those products and so on. But there is again an issue. Suppose a user purchases four t-shirts or four different products for, from your website then when you uh, say set only two dollars then for all the four products he will be charged only two dollars for shipping but if you want uh, to charge two dollars for each product two dollars shipping cost for each product then you have to put this code open the bracket okay and type in QTY which stands for quantity put in a space then type in this asterisk sign again a space and two dollars now what it says this code says that now if a user purchases two t-shirts then he will be charged four dollars two into two so this is very important if you put only two dollars then whether he purchase one t-shirt or hundred t-shirt or a one product or hundred product he will be charged only two dollars for shipping so if you want that kind of setting you can put in only two or if you want uh, you know two dollars for each product then you can put this code uh, qty in brackets then asterisk sign into two okay fine now we have to select the bulky shipping class cost Again, we'll follow the same process quantity QTY into $5 for bulky products. We are charging $5 per product shipping cost. Fine. So this is very important. This lesson and previous lesson, the taxation lesson and this one, the shipping lesson are very important. Make sure you watch this video again if you have any doubt so that you know you clear off your doubt because you don't face any problem in the future. Once you're done with all the settings, just click on save changes. So we have done, uh, we are done with the shipping settings totally. And now you're really happy because you know, tax and shipping were very important things. We have done both the settings. Now in the next lecture, we'll be doing the checkout setting. We'll be setting up PayPal and so on. So see you guys in the next lecture. Till then, take care.